you guys see on the screen now that I'm recording, it should yeah. show it. Yes. All right. So you know that you're being watched and everything you say is, is recorded. So this <laughs> is uh, Matthew Sims. Um, and I am interviewing the Dark Bob and the Light Bob, who are both, I believe, in Los Angeles, California, Santa Monica in one case. Marina Del Rey, is that right? No, no, all together in Santa Monica. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. And uh, today is July 10th, 2020. Yeah. And this is part of the Archives of American Art, Smithsonian Institution uh, pandemic project. That, does that sound like a, a good title for a... No. No, okay. Well, I like to go back to the drawing board. What else might we come up with? Uh, the, death about, and, the death and dying interview. No, that's, no, worse. that's worse. How about the creative artist's uh, online project? Oh, okay. okay. Well, that all those ideas. So, all right. I, I just wanted to to check in with you guys, see how you're doing. Thanks. Thank you. How are you doing? Um, I'm I'm uh, okay. Uh, I mean, just real quickly, I, I know you teach art history, and you've got. Uh, your thank art you, art thank history. you. I'm doing great. I have been <laughs> teaching, yes, and I've been like drag racing. I've been playing tennis, walking, swimming going to not so many parties, making art, and trying to get Dark Bob to conform. Uh, and I've been trying to get the White Bob to get a new suit, because you can see right there, he needs one desperately. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a thousand dollar gray suit. I'll give you a thousand dollars to throw it away. How's that? Mr. Sims, I'm what? Sorry, you have you, but I, I just. Oh wait a minute. Yellow, is this the Zoom line? Oh hey, Matthew Lightbox. It's this is Zoom. The technology we're on the TV. Dark Bob, we're on the TV. Yellow. Yellow. We're on. Oh, it's not on the phone. So I'll, I'll help. This I have it. The Zoom app on my phone. No, that's from last year. And look what's next to his phone, Matthew. Look, <laughs> a tape dispenser from 1920. Oh you shouldn't be making fun of me. I'm, I'm the other half of Bob and Bob. Thank you very much. So to answer your question, everything is normal, fine, well, healthy. Art is being made. Um, we're, we're out and about. Yes, it's a little... Uh, all the stores are closed. I don't know why. It's a little confusing out there. But in studios and in uh, galleries and in the world of art, it's a teeming, wonderful place. Hmm. Well, that's not my experience, Matthew. I've been staying locked in uh, and enjoying it, honestly. I mean, I, I'm a recluse anyway. So uh, I've, I've enjoyed my time away from people. I can't stand people. They get in the way. They interfere with my thinking. Uh, and most of, most of my inspiration comes from inside anyway. So, so I'm happy just, you know, locked away. Uh, few people I see, I do see the light bulb a little bit. We've made, been doing a little drawing and so on, but, uh, I'm happy that the world is shut down. I, I never needed it much anyway. Well, you have two complementary perspectives here, which somehow oh, like dark. Like the world is not shut down. And why are you reckless? When did you become reckless? Uh, you talking to me? You said you were reckless. Re did I say reckless? Uh, okay. I, I used that word. You said you were a reckless. A yeah, reckless. You said reckless. Oh, you have clues. You're a d detective with uh, clues. Exactly, this is what for forty years I've been working with this. He does, doesn't, doesn't understand a word I say. Never I, has. I, I must admit, it's true. Uh, the world is open and alive and well. And for some people, it's a little dark, Bob. And for the rest of us, we're at the party, which is the set of drawings, series of drawings we're doing right now. I want to hear about those. How, what what yeah. these drawings right. you guys The have? party is great. Um, we are doing drawings of... of people at parties and the people range from senators to um well the guy at the drugstore to your favorite breed of dog there's yeah there's some so show pick, animals we, we, we are we are holding parties on a piece of paper and past presidents 
and celebrities and writers and historians. And artists, that's right. And we um, are being paid handsome sums to explain to all of them that the old times, like Teddy Roosevelt's there and Franklin Roosevelt's there, the old times are not necessarily better than the present times. And the present times are not necessarily terrible and epidemic, whatever that word you were using. And with a little bit of perspective, we're really okay. You know, there's no, there's no um, world wars going on. There's no terrible disasters, really. Oh no, there's no war. Uh, Afghanistan and Syria and global warming, everything's just fine. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah, the country has the flu. The country's in a bad mood, but you know, the world has the flu. True, the world has the flu, but by and large, you know, everyone is doing what they usually do. They are. Yeah. I'm not. Because you're locked away. Yeah. You're drinking your like scotch. Your scotch and soda. You're taking your pills. Oh, yeah, watch this. Um, <laughs> there you go. It's a wow. glass of light. That is so, amazing. So we are doing drawings and artworks of great celebration and integration. How do you get everybody to show up to these parties? I mean, Good. difficult. We, we draw them, and there they are. <laughs> That's amazing. It's, it's it unbelievable what you can do on a piece it's of It's the paper. craziest thing. I think it's Dark Bob's studio, but we draw them and they appear. No RSVPs, just there they right. are. That's right. right. That's right. And we can they can say whatever we want them to say. That's the other nice thing. We can uh, put little balloons coming out of their mouths with words and uh, they're and, gonna they're gonna toe the line with us. And they loan us their clothes. Aristotle Onassis loaned Dark Bob's his suit today for the for this call. Uh, both ties or just the one? Yeah, yes. And I got my Bob, suit. Everybody like Bob mentions is dead. Have you noticed that the Roosevelt's, uh, Aristotle, Onassis? I think that after this conversation, Bob and Bob need to talk about who we're going to have over that's living. Maybe we should have a party just for dead people. Maybe he's Edgar Hoover, that guy, Hoover. Yep, yep. I got my suit from Clark Kent, and so they're very generous, our, our party guests. Now we're back to the suit. You know, I think really Matthew would like to hear something that's historically relevant that, and, and takes people to a, a level of understanding that, it's, that requires us to say some really important, brilliant things. Okay. Look, when yeah, Picasso yeah. when Picasso was doing his most famous painting, yeah, go there, ahead. there was a war going on, and it was bad news for sure, right? And the world was up in arms. They were stealing his paintings. Museums were getting looted, just like our days now. Yeah, but but you know, we've had past flus, and I I'd, I'd have a flu before a war any day. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I mean, yes, no question. Well, I like when wars are far away, uh, whereas the flu here has, has come to us. Uh, but, you know, it's almost as if the war has come to us. We're suffering fatalities. Uh, we, we're suffering from poor leadership. All the same conditions as a war, only it's here. Hmm. Uh, we're struggling with one another. Uh, the country's divided down the middle. We were in a civil war. We are in a civil war in America. Uh, and uh, how can we not? General Lee is out again, and Robert E. Lee is out again. Uh, With those guys, those Confederate guys? Uh, that's, that's one of the issues that's happening right now, that people don't want to be celebrating uh, uh, the, the lives of what some call traitors, you know. Have you been I mean, drinking, Dark uh, Bob? Have you been drinking? You're looking at it right here. Uh, well, so, as I was saying, Mr. Matthew, these are fine times and we're not at war. There's no South versus North. And I think Dark Bob's having delusions. Well, uh, it's a hoax. 
Light bulb thinks it's all a hoax. Uh, but no, we are at war in America. I, I'm terrified of what's going to happen after the next. I, I really think after the next election, one way or another, people are going to go crazy. It's terrifying. Uh, everyone is so uh, polarized uh, under this administration. Can we talk about art again? Our drawings at the party? Well, what do you want to say about that? Well, should General, is it Robert E. Lee or General Grant? Well, what about either one of them? What's the point? Well, if they were to join the party and if they were to have a conversation with Franklin Roosevelt, who was there, and Andrew Carnegie's there, what would they talk about? Uh, they would talk about how uh, being dead is a lot easier than being alive. They have that in common. <laughs> yeah, they certainly do. Next question, Your Honor. Uh, speaking of uh, dead people, I thought of Achilles, and then I thought of Achilles tendons, and then that led me to Dark Bob's recent mishap and the walking with a flip flop in Rome or something. Oh, and then, Lord. Did you heal from that, or? Uh, well, oh, I can heal. Since, since it was a, a heel injury, I'm guessing that you're you're trying to be funny about a trap. That was funny. Did you heal? Heal? Did you get it? Did you hear? But I have. It took almost two years, Matthew. Oh, I ripped a tendon on the bottom of my foot, walking through Spain in flip-flops during a transportation strike. There were no buses, no taxis, you know. So if you wanted to go to the Prado or whatever, uh, I had to walk, and I, I ripped my foot up. It was terrible. And for being from Southern California, all you had in your suitcase were flip-flops. Exactly. So, but I did see a lot of great art. And it wasn't until I came home that I completely collapsed and fell apart. And, and that's when the injury really got me. Yeah. So a lot of physical therapy and, uh, and I'm a little smarter now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never do that again. And have we, do we have any news from Lynn? Lynn Fuchs? Uh, I do talk to Lynn uh, and he's doing okay. He's walked away. You know, Lynn is 85 years old. Uh, he does feel vulnerable. Uh, he had uh, quit smoking and re recently told me he was going to start smoking. Oh. And I, I was disappointed, but he said, you know, he says, I'm 85 years old. And, <laughs> it, you know, if he wants to smoke, he says, I'm going to smoke. So I, I, what did I, I didn't know what to say, honestly. I'm, I'm someone who quit smoking. It's a really tough deal. Mm -hmm. I bring him up because he was, that's, is, is that how you guys met in his class or was it? We did, yeah. We did. Yeah. We did, we did. And in fact, this just happens to be sitting on my desk. Uh, this is uh, Lynn uh, beating us with a T-square uh, oh. <laughs> for being messy in his painting class. So. Oh, did that help? Did it stop yeah, you? I, the beating, well, yeah, we, <laughs> ever since then, we've been very careful and, and clean. Heidi. Heidi. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, what other stuff going on? What are you, what are your views on larger issues? Larger? Big I'm, I'm getting an electric bike to go out into the woods. Into the woods? Yes. What woods would those be? That would be woods dating. You know what that is. Uh, up there in above Malibu, there's all kinds of trails and ways to like be with animals and not have to ride a normal bike inside okay yeah and 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 you're doing a lot of outdoorsy kinds of things like bob why is that are you an outdoorsy kind of actor? yeah I, I like being out in life and being uh, alive and the ocean is really nice and nature here had a we had an amazing uh rainy season mm. so the people are a little skittish but nature is really robust and really like oh. it's fragrant and clean uh there's no cars moving so it's really wonderful yeah yeah so the traffic's starting to come back a bit. you're right, you're right. Because, of, because we're reopening businesses and so on so oh, it's because you stand out in the freeway and try to get autographs all right, that didn't make any sense, and so that will go down through eternity in the history of the uh, archive. Thank you very much. See, when, when he says something stupid, it reflects on me, Matthew. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm prepared to have a <laughs> I, I Okay. Really All right. Big matters. Big matters you asked about. Dark Bob, 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 but Thrifty, the drugstore chain. You okay, there right. is no such thing as Thrifty. It's now Rite Aid. And, uh, oh, and I have no ownership in Rite Aid, not even in stocks or dividends. Oh, all right. Next question. <laughs> you yeah. guys, we know each other, right? Oh, it's the art world. The art world. They want to know what light Bob is talking about. This. I'll, I'll check and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. This is ridiculous. The Who, was that? Who was that? You just. That was the art world. They wanted to know what the hell you're talking about. Dark Bob bought Thrifty. Okay. They there is no Thrifty. So, whatever. Whatever. You had a pin you wanted to share with us, Dark Bob. Well, I did, as a matter of fact. This gets right back down to uh, politics and the election. Where is it? There we go. Uh, now, let's see how that might work out someday. <laughs> any recommendations for any specific artists or pairs of artists? Uh, well, let's Bob see. Bob and Bob. <laughs> yeah, I think Bob and Bob would be good. Bob. I'd be president, he'd be vice president. No, I would. We'd be co-presidents, and we would we well, would have good measure toward all. Very that's good. Right. Yeah. And like we're console or something. That's, yes, that's right. That never worked well historically, by the way. To have two presidents at once, or yeah, like back when Napoleon overthrew, overthrew, and became an emperor. Right, right. Oh, you know, Matthew, if we, if you stepped into the Bob and Bob time machine, wh where would you go to? Would you go back to your favorite era, or into the unknown? I would go. I might go into the future to see the these parties. I think I might want to step into one of these. Drones. Oh my God, that's so. Hey, let's put Matthew in one of our party. You're in, Matthew. Yeah. You just you just got into the door. I just took a screenshot of you. You're in. Okay. okay. Now, how it works is if when we draw you at Dark Bob Studio, you will arrive. You will appear. It's Good as idea. real as you are. So we have Ed Keenholz, uh -huh. uh, Bob Irwin. Uh, and we have, who's that old guy that you like so much? The American, uh, oh, man. Not Norman Rockwell, the other guy who's a troublemaker, but an amazing muralist. Oh, uh, McDonald's right? I, who? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, he was famous. OK, well, I don't like anybody. Uh, I'm trying to look at the drawing. What? He's not in our latest drawing. Is that what you're talking about? I'm just trying to illustrate. I'm trying to draw to the point that, is a joke <laughs> that whoever pictures we draw, they come to life. Well, what if I'm in the shower and you oh, draw no, me? No. Do I no. suddenly show up at the drawing no. naked? No, 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 no. The picture I took, like, you know, I, I took a screenshot. I'll do it again. You'll show up in a charcoal gray shirt with a smile on. Okay. Yeah. But there is going to be a shower head above you. Okay. You will be the only person at the party with, you know, water coming down on you. And then the caption. Do you do captions or no captions? Yeah, we do write on the drawing. Yeah. 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 Tony yeah. Curtis is there. Um, who else? Uh, the last party was there. Oh, the I don't know. What are you doing? Reading obituaries? No. You know, so far, the only living person like Bob has mentioned is Robert Irwin. And uh, is he still alive, Robert Irwin? He is. He's. He is. Right. But, but do you do thought bubbles? Yeah, we do. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. And a lot of them are, are paying Dark Bob stacks of cash. We don't know why yet. Okay. We don't I, know why yet. I ask and they pay what, uh, you know. Well, I'm looking here at the old clock and I see we only have a couple minutes left for our uh, conversation. Well, you, let me ask you, is, is there something you're trying to elicit out of artists that we might in the last couple of minutes here contribute to? Uh, why do you use the word illegal? Why, why you know, what's form your uh, synopsis or your thesis? Uh. <laughs> this is okay. checking in. We're just checking. Yeah. In. checking. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is that a is that a restaurant you go to? The checking in. The checking in. All the yeah. restaurants here in Long Beach are still closed, more or less. Oh. Uh, you know. So. Well, how come Light Bob's not wearing a mask? I don't know. I don't wear a mask. Oh, but yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Um, so Beverly Hills. Some of the stores are closed. They're all nervous. Uh, Dark Bob shows up like this, and he's opening his own store there. In the middle of the street. Yeah. I got to get a picture <laughs> of that. 
<laughs> I missed it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Matt. This has been great. Well, thank you very much. I, I have enjoyed speaking with my two favorite Bobs. And I have favorite Archie. Say, you know, um, uh, I hope you stay well and productive, and I can't wait to, to check out the party. Yeah. 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 We will send you a picture of the party. You will be in it. Okay. Well, bye, guys. Thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So.